Assalamu alaikum, this is me, uh, Javed. I'm from BSPT Bastion, holding ID 2001023 I'm here to present my topic, which is uh, yttrium. So let's talk about its history. Yttrium was named for it by in 1843, a Swedish chemist named Carl Gustav Mosender studied yttrium samples and discovered they contained three oxides at the time they were called yttria, erbia, and terbia. They are known as white yttrium oxide, yellow terbium oxide, and rose colored erbium oxide, respectively. In 1787, part time chemist Carl Exil Arrhenius found a heavy rock, uh, black rock uh, in an old curry near the Swedish village of Hitterby, now part of the Stockholm. And thinking it was an unknown mineral containing the newly discovered element tungsten, he named it Yeterbite and sent samples to the various chemists for analysis. John uh, Gedlin at the University of Abu identified a new oxide of uh, earth in Arrhenius samples in 1789 and published his completed analysis in 1794. Uh, and uh, Akbar confirmed the identifications in 1797 and named the now new oxide yttria. Uh, in the decades after Antoine uh, Lavoisier developed the first modern uh, definitions of chemical elements, it was believed that earths could be reduced to their elements, meaning that the discovery of a new earth was equivalent to the discovery of the element within, which is this case would have been yttrium. Uh, in 1843, Carl Gustav Modern found the samples of yttria contained oxide, white yttrium oxide, yttria, yellow yttrium. Uh, confusingly, this was called uh, erbia at the time, and rose colored erbium oxide called terbia at the time. A fourth oxide, yttrium oxide, was isolated in 1878 by Jean Charles, uh, glassered by Medignac. New elements were later isolated from each of those oxides and new element was named in some fashion after Yeterbi, the village near the query where they were found see Yeterbium, Terbium and Erbium. Uh, in the following decades, even uh, seven other new metals were discovered in uh, Gadolin's Yetria. Since Yetria was found to be a mineral and not an oxide, Metrian uh, Henrich uh, clapped, renamed it Gloden in honor of Gloden. Until uh, the early 1920s, the chemical symbol uh, YT was used for an element, after which Y came into common use. In 1987, yttrium barium copper oxide was found to achieve high temperature uh, superconductivity. It was only the second material known to exhibit this property, and it was the first known material to achieve superconductivity above the economically important boiling point of nitrogen. So, how yttrium was created? Yttrium, uh, elementary yttrium, is an impure, uh, impure form. Was first isolated in 1828 by Frederick Buller by passing chlorine. Uh, uh, chlorine uh, gas over uh, gadolinate mineral to form anhydrous yttrium chloride, uh, which was in turn reduced to yttrium using potassium. Uh, so let's talk about this definition, like what is yttrium? Yttrium is a chemical element with the symbol Y and atomic number uh, 39, and it is a uh, silvery metallic transition metal chemically similar to the lanthanides and has often been classified as rare earth element. Yttrium is almost always found in combination with lanthanide elements in rare earth minerals and is never found in nature as a free element. Uh, y89 is the only stable isotope and the only isotope found in the earth's crust. So yttrium symbol is Y, its atomic number is uh, 39 and its atomic mass is 88.906 uh, uh, gram per mole and discovered by John uh, Gerlin in 1794. So the chemical properties of yttrium. Its atomic number is 39, its atomic weight is 88.90585, melting point is 1522 uh, degrees Celsius and boiling point is 3345 degrees Celsius and specific gravity is 4.469. And oxidation state is plus three, and electronic composition is 4D15S2. And the uses of yttrium are, although uh, are given, although there is a plethora of yttrium uses in industry, we will look at a few of the most significant yttrium uses. 
used in production of synthetic garments and uterine iron garments. And second one is used in manufacture of infrared layers. Uh, third one is act as a solid electrolyte and an oxygen sensor in automobile exhaust systems used in manufacture of superconductors. It is helpful in uh, curing many cancers like lymphoma, uh, leukemia, and bone cancers. And the most important uses of yttrium are LEDs and phosphors, particularly the red phosphors in televisions at cathode ray tube displays. Yttrium is also used in production of electrodes, electrolytes, electronic filters, lasers, superconductors, various medical applications, and tracing various materials to enhance their properties. And way before modern televisions came into existence, the flat screen TVs were trend. And there were uh, large cathode tube tubes inside these TVs to project the image. There was a rigorous use of yttrium to get the red light on these televisions. The structure of uh, zirconia varies with temperature, hence yttrium is mixed with zirconia to form an, an alloy that has stabilized its structure. Uh, in the automobile industry, it acts as electrolyte in the exhaust systems. It is often brought to use in the treatment of cancer and some other diseases. There are various other sectors such as production of superconductors, infrared layers, synthetic garments, and many more. So the properties of yttrium are given below. Since we know that yttrium is a rare earth element, it is also precious metal which metallic silver appearance. The element is soft and falls under the category of high crystalline metals. It is electronegative. Its electronegativity is less relative to the elements above in the group. Also, the elements that are below yttrium have more electronegativity. It appears in the D block and fifth group of the periodic table. Besides being a unique element, it forms both soluble and insoluble compounds. It is very rare, rare metal and it never found as a free element in the earth's crust, but often found in combination with lanthanide. It is also found in uranium minerals. Besides being a unique element, it forms both soluble and insoluble compounds. So let's talk about its electronic configuration. We all know that atomic number of yttrium is 39 and it has trivalency like its valency is three. Now let's write its yttrium electronic configuration. Uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d1. Generally, yttrium electronic configuration is 4d1, 5s2. Yttrium commonly has an oxidation state of plus 3 since it gives three valence electrons. And furthermore, it forms several compounds such as oxalate, hydroxide, and fluoride that there are, there are insoluble in water. And compounds such as chloride, sulfate, bromide, etc., have high solubility in water. Since its D and F shells have a uh, shortage of electrons, the yttrium ions is colorless. And its applications, let's talk about its application. First one is consumer. The red uh, component of color television cathode ray uh, tubes is typically uh, emitted from an yttrium or yttrium oxide sulfide host that is doped with europium uh, cation phosphorus. The red color itself is emitted from the uh, europium while the yttrium collects energy from the electron gun and passes it to the phosphor. Yttrium compounds can uh, serve as a host lattices for uh, doping with different lanthanide cations. Uh, TB uh, TBT positive can be used as a doping agent to produce green luminescence as such yttrium compounds such as yttrium uh, aluminium garnet are useful for phosphors and are an important component of white LEDs. Yttrium is used as a sutering additive in the production of forest silicon uh, nitride. Yttrium compounds are used as a catalyst for alkynyl polymerization. As a metal, yttrium is used on electrodes of some high performance spark plugs. Yttrium is also used in gas metals uh, for propane lanterns as a placement of thorium, which is radioactive. Currently under development is yttrium stabilized zirconia as a solid electrolyte and as an oxygen sensor in automobile exhaust systems. So uh, its second application is superconductors. Yttrium is uh, very useful to produce superconductors. Yttrium is a key ingredient in the yttrium, barium, copper oxide. Superconductors developed at the University of Alabama and University of 
uh, Houston in 1987. This superconductor is notable because the operating superconductivity temperature is above liquid nitrogen's boiling point. Since liquid nitrogen is less expensive than the liquid helium required for metallic superconductors, the operating cost for applicants would be less. The actual superconducting material is often written as uh, YBA2CO3O7, where D must be less than 0 0.7 for superconductivity. The reason for this is still not clear, but it is known that uh, the uh, vacancies occur only in the, uh, certain places in the crystals, the copper oxide planes and chains, giving rise to the uh, peculiar oxidation state of the copper atoms, which somehow leads to the superconductivity behavior. Uh, the theory of low temperature superconductivity has been well understood since BACS theory of 1957. It is based on a um, peculiarity of the interactions between the two electrons in a crystal lattice. However, the BCS theory does not explain high temperature superconductivity and its precise mechanism is still a mystery. Uh, what is known is that the composition of the copper oxide materials must be precisely controlled for superconductivity to occur. This superconductor is a black and green multi-crystal, multi-phase mineral researchers are studying a class of materials known as uh, pair of uh, pair of slides that are alternative combinations of three elements hoping to develop a uh, practical high temperature superconductor and the third one uh, application is lithium batteries y uh, yttrium is used in small quantities in cathodes of some lithium iron phosphate battery and then called commonly uh, lipo uh, life yp for chemistry or uh, lyp similar to lfp lyp batteries offer high energy density, good safety, and long life, but LYP offer higher cathode stability and prolong life of battery by protecting physical structure of cathode, especially at higher temperatures, high, higher charging, discharge current, LYP solar systems, electrical vehicles, some cars, as well as other applications uh, similar to LFP batteries, but often add improved safety and cycle lifetime. Uh, LVP cells have essentially the uh, same uh, nominal voltage as LFP of 3.25 voltage, but the maximum charging voltage is 4.0 voltage. And very similar charging and discharge characteristics. Major manufacturer of LFP batteries is Smart Line Power Battery Limited with brands Winston and Thunder Sky. And the fourth one is material enhancer. Small amounts of yttrium have been used to reduce the grain size of chromium, molybdenum, uh, titanium, and zirconium. The yttrium is used to increase the strength of aluminum and magnesium alloys. The addition of yttrium uh, to alloys generally improves workability, adds resistance to high temperature recrystallizations, and significantly enhances the resistance to high temperature oxidation. See graphite module discussion below. Uh, yttrium can be used to be oxidized vanadium and other non ferrous metals. Yttrium stabilizes in cubic form of zirconia and jewelry. Yttrium has been studied as a nodulizer in ductile cast iron, forming the graphite into uh, compact nodules. Uh, instead of flags to increase its duplicity and fatigue resistance, having a high melting point, yttrium oxide is used in some ceramic and glass to impact shock resistance and low thermal expansion properties. Those same properties uh, make such glass useful in camera lenses. Uh, there are some similarities to the, its lanthanide. The similarities of yttrium to the lanthanides are so strong that the element has historically been grouped with them as a rare earth, earth element and is always found in nature together with them in earth rare minerals. Chemically, yttrium resembles those elements more closely than its neighbor in the periodic tables, candium, and if physical properties were plotted against atomic number, it would have an apparent number of 64.5 uh, to 67.5, placing between the lanthanides, uh, gadolinium, and erbium. It often uh, also falls in the same range of reactions order resembling terbium and diprosium uh, in its chemical reactivity. Yttrium is so close to size to the so-called yttrium group of heavy lanthanide ions 
so is so close in size to collagen group of heavily and iron that in solution it behaves as if it were one of them even uh, through the lanthanides or one row further down the periodic table than yttrium the similarity in atomic radius may be attributed to the lanthanides contraction one of so one of the few notable differences between the chemistry of yttrium and that of the lanthanide is that yttrium is almost ex exclusively trivalent whereas about half of the lanthanides can have valency other than 3 Nevertheless, only for four of the fifteen lanthanides are these offer valencies important to aqueous solutions. So there are some precautions. Uh, precautions are given below. Yttrium currently has no known biological role, and it can be highly toxic for humans, animals, and plants. Water soluble compounds of yttrium are considered uh, mildly toxic, while its insoluble compounds are non toxic. Its experiments on animal yttrium and its compound caused lung, uh, lung and liver damage. Uh, through toxicity, uh, toxicity uh, uh, varies with different yttrium compounds in rats. Inhalation of yttrium uh, uh, citrate caused pulmonary. Edema and dyspnea, while inhalation of yttrium chloride caused liver edema, pleural effusions, and pulmonary hyperemia. Exposure to uh, yttrium compounds in humans may cause lung disease of lungs. Workers exposed to airborne yttrium uh, erbium venenate dust experience mild eye, skin, and upper respiratory tract irritation. So this, through this, may be caused by the vanadium content rather than the yttrium. Acute exposure to yttrium compounds can cause shortness of breath, uh, coughing, chest pain, and kenosis. The occupational safety and health administration limits exposure of yttrium in the workplace to over an eight or workday. The National Institute for Occupational safety and health recommended exposure limit drill is one milligram per mole over an eight or workday. It levels of at levels of five hundred yttrium is immediately dangerous to life and health. Yttrium is uh, uh yttrium is uh, highly dust flammable. And that is all about my topic. Thank you so much.